Okay, I'm going to answer the simple question of how to make a lemon crown. Certainly not a necessity in terms of a skill, but it might be fun to know how to do it if you don't know how to do it. So here we go. You take yourself a nice cold whole lemon. We'll flatten up the sides on it, or the ends rather, so we can stand it up when we're done. Now, meticulously, we will cut on an angle points that meet each other all the way around the lemon one time. One of the great things about this particular item too is you can make it ahead of time and then you can pull it apart later on just before you want to set it on a fish plate or serve it alongside of something that you want to serve lemon with. Very old world traditional conservative stuff. Been around for oh a lot longer than me I know that. And I'm considered to be an old timer. So, but every once in a while you want to have something like this. I've seen guys take these and dip the points in paprika and stuff so they have little red tips on the lemons. And all right, there we go. So, you got your whole lemon and it's already cut. You just go like this, and the lemon comes apart. And there's your, your lemon crowns. Now, if you want to store this, you just put it back together throw it in your fridge. When you're ready to use it, garnish it, it's just typically used as garnish for a plate. And like what, what, I, what I meant when I, about the paprika is you, you have a plate of dusted paprika and you just dip the tips in it and you got all these little red tips on it. And None of this is major, but sometimes a little, a little boost like this makes a big difference. Especially if you're serving like a cold half lobster or a hot lobster on a half shell. Because this is kind of an elevated item, this might be more suitable in cases like that than a bunch of wedges on an expensive piece of lobster. So there you have it, lemon crown. You're crowned.